you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. All right, everybody, welcome to the Thursday night lockdown. We're going to give you our top dog for the night tonight. If you uh, listen to the Sports Section podcast on Tuesday, you already got this winner tonight, but we have got a great game going on in Kansas City this evening. The Oakland Raiders visiting the Kansas City Chiefs, first place in the AFC West on the line. It Potentially a top seed in the AFC overall in play here. Two of the hottest teams in football, the Raiders at 10-2, and two, Chiefs at 9-3. and three. Derek Carr has the Raiders just playing unreal football. Him and Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree and uh, Khalil Mack on the defensive side, along with the job that Jack Del Rio's done, which has been unbelievable. The confidence that he's put in that team, you can see the difference. It's, it's, it's visible every time that team takes a field, they think they have a chance to win, and it's because he puts them in a position – to do that every week. you got to give that team a ton of credit. I love the explosiveness of the offense. Uh, the defense seems to make enough plays. I don't love the defense, but they do enough. Um, the Chiefs on the other side are kind of the opposite of the Raiders. They're, they're the anti-Raiders. They are vanilla. They're boring, but they win. They play, I think right now with the Seahawks losing Earl Thomas, I think the Chiefs are the best defense in football right now. Uh, and if you haven't seen them play, you might wonder why, but look at what they do to good teams, to good offenses. They hold them down. Alex Smith Alex Smith is a reliable, dependable quarterback. He's the definition of a game manager. He makes enough plays. He can make throws when he needs to. Is Alex Smith going to ever win an MVP? Is he ever going to throw for 5,000 yards? No, he's probably not throwing for you know, 300 yards tonight, but he doesn't turn the ball over, and that's a huge, huge thing in a game like this is the divisional matchup. It's at home for Kansas City. It's going to be cold. It's scheduled to be 18 degrees at kick, wind chill in the single digits, a chance of snow, and everyone knows Arrowhead's one of the two loudest places in the country to play. The line on this game that I had was 3.5. Oakland was getting 3.5, the Chiefs are the favorite. I think that there's a decent chance Kansas City wins this game, but I'm taking Oakland and the points because I could easily see this being a 24-23, 24-21 kind of game, Uh, maybe even less points than that. You might want to look into the under. I think it was 44. Um, But I like the Raiders and the points here because the Raiders' offense, they're so young, they're so brash, they're so confident that I think they could go in there and just pull the upset. But even if they don't, I don't see that team getting blown out. Kansas City just doesn't score enough points. And the Raiders have too many playmakers. So you're locked down. Top dog for Thursday night. Oakland Raiders plus three and a half in Kansas City. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Make sure you tune in on Saturday for another episode of the Cowboy Rides Again podcast. Uh, Next Tuesday and every Tuesday, we'll have another episode of the sports section. Follow the blog at thecowboyridesagain.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Cowboy Mike. That's Mr. Cowboy Mike. And on Facebook, we are The Cowboy Rides Again. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. You can find us on YouTube as well. Um, Thank you, everyone, for listening. Enjoy the game tonight. We'll be tweeting about it on Twitter a good chunk of the night. Uh, Thank you, everyone, for listening. Cowboy Mike, have a good night. You got to know. Sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done.